everyone you are back with real one digital real achievers episode 4 so we are at hike desert bath timirga siaya speaking about today's topic it's about culture the sri lankan culture is a very ideal and unique culture of its own and it when and when it comes to our culture there are not a lot of people who know it very well and there are people and at the same time there are people who know it quite well as well So here with us today we have Miss Dinushka again joining with us for Real Achievers, and so I'll straight away ask the question from you, Miss. Uh, why do you what do you think? Why do you think the Sri Lankan culture is very important for people, and why do you think it's important that they know about it? I think um, as as Sri as a Sri Lankan that you need to know where you are coming from. Uh, uh, you need to know about. what what your background is what your um your heritage your history is uh, and that i think that knowledge shapes what you do in the future uh, what you become um what you can do uh, what your capabilities are if you know okay this is what i've come from you know okay this is what i'm capable of um as a as 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 a, as a small island in this iman in this enormous world i would say that um it's important to be able to go out there into the world and say i come from this little place but you know i am the possibilities are vast and endless so yeah i mean your culture your heritage plays a big part in what you are like what the kind of person you are how you in, uh, uh, interact with people what kind of things you do um yeah Yeah so the culture defines who we are we we can identify our roots when we are more acquainted with our culture so speaking about culture we have this amazing book that was designed by Miss Dinushka herself so why don't we explain about this book yourself okay so um basically it's called coloring my way through sri lanka and it's a coloring book for adults and teenagers um it's uh, it's something different for i suppose that what you get in the market already because it is uh, it showcases all like um, local sort of images so like the whale which is the largest sea mammal or the elephant which is the largest land mammal of which sri lanka is lucky to have both um then it has things like the tuk tuk which is you know it's a integral part of getting anywhere in sri lanka um and then it has these uh, the devil masks which of which you see in shops and you see uh, all over but you don't really know the significance of and then you know you go to people's homes and you see it on on top of a door you don't know what it is so the books have like a the colored version which is uh, painted or drawn by a local artist uh, it has the text which explains the significance of it and then it has the black and white with the details so that you can either color it in the way it's meant to be or you can color it in whatever way you want to um and so the um uh, the uh, the <coughs> sorry so the things like the jungle fowl right uh, that is the national bird of sri lanka um when i initially asked for a picture of the jungle fowl to be painted and given to me everyone i asked three four people drew or painted a brown bird in a green forest it didn't really show and you know like the wali kukala is very he is very striking to look at but the wali kukala is not um that's not true for humans but uh for the animal for the jungle for the jungle fowl he is so beautiful to look at and then i found an artist who is willing to try something new who um did this gorgeous uh painting which is now it's a box cover for me but also you know when i look at it i feel inspired i feel like wow this is what the jungle fowl is um so the this is my first book so it has the kolam which is what uh hindus do outside the doorway before new year um it has a kovil uh which is very colorful uh anyway traditionally so you know little little facts about sri lanka that you don't unless you read about it and you specifically know about it it doesn't really come to your head all the time it's like when i was actually researching these things only i was like ah oh, really like you know um just things that sort of caught my eye and uh you know 
were interesting for me um and the reason why i actually started why i thought of doing a coloring book also is because my niece anishka is growing up away from us in singapore uh, and i wanted to find a way to connect with her um and at the time that i uh, started the idea of the coloring book uh, my sister in law had told me oh yeah she likes to color now and then you know and i thought why not connect the coloring book to something that i you know why, why not connect the book to something that she likes to do so it's a like a way to bond bit for the two of us and so yeah so i now this is like a very old picture because she's now quite big but uh, it took two and a half years to actually get the book out uh, because i had to convince so many local artists you know uh, when you think of adult coloring you think of a garden or flowers or you know you don't think of what you get naturally in sri lanka so i had to talk to a couple of people get like convince them this is what you can do um and then it took two and a half years anyway for me to get the funds and to uh, print it and whatever so uh it uh, even now even though i still have i'm yet to send her a copy of the book i know she is also waiting to get one uh and that's again a way for her to uh, read the captions and to say ah oh, you know there is something different about my culture that i had not thought of or you know it had not occurred to me before uh so yeah so that's the reasoning it's it's a, it's a way of like um, not just not just for her but even for a tourist or anyone to read like all these the the captions and to come across the pictures and then think ah oh, you know i'd like to go and go to sri lanka and be in a tuk tuk tribe myself or i'd exactly. like to go and watch the perahara or you know um i'd like to visit adam speak which is also um one of the drawings here so you know i mean um sorry yes yeah so the so actually the colored drawings the black and white drawings are drawn by one person and the colored drawings are drawn by several different people uh so i basic uh, i i got them to take the black and whites and then color them in uh but then you can see the difference in how they perceive uh each um individual drawing which was also quite interesting for me so the uh beginning of the book there's a uh acknowledgement section so i am not claiming to have drawn any of these on my own people who know me no i cannot even draw a straight line but i do admire people who have the gift of drawing and who can do, you know draw something or color something beautifully i totally admire it and so the first page has the acknowledgements and i'm yeah i'm hoping to put out another series of coloring books of course this current situation has not helped but uh, yeah fingers crossed so so like just like your boxes yes the same the same thing that happens here is so it's a group of people working together Do so that yes. so that the final output would be something that's really yeah. admiring yeah. so and also at the same time just like you said it would uh, if if it's a foreigner who's yeah. actually purchasing the book then it would make them really uh, want to come to sri lanka yeah. and to see what see, yeah it really yeah, is to be experience it for themselves and yeah. at the same time i think the people in this ca- in living uh, in sri lanka as yeah. well they would yeah. be more connected to our culture thinking that and also would recognize themselves as yeah. belonging to something, something very big yeah. and at the same time i see it as very useful for the expatriates as well yeah because they are actually born here but they are living there and yeah. then they would know that they are also part of something really yes. big yeah so now um mostly now they are target f- targeted for the foreigners and natives both yeah so how how can they really purchase the books from where so they can purchase it directly from me or they can go to pendi uh, which is uh, in reed avenue or you can shop for it internationally on whoviya.lk 
um, of course the uh, the book that's available on Huvia does not have the Perahari elephant because they are against uh, it's there for animal rights and that's fine I yeah. mean I can create a, a whole new section a new book for them because uh, you know why not um, I don't see um, uh, I also have this uh, uh, the children's book uh, which is uh, my colorful Sri Lanka it doesn't have any text or anything but it has like uh, drawings that the kids can color um, it's not as intricate as the adults one um, but yeah and it's not it, uh, you um, if you bought the adults book then the mother or the father or whoever can explain to the child what the children's um, drawings are uh, they're also very lightweight yeah. so you can carry it in your handbag um, yeah yeah so how is it going these days with the like I is it good because and at the same time since the foreigners are also given the chance to purchase it yeah it will also be a way how Sri Lanka uh, a way that Sri Lanka get dollars as well so how yes. <laughs> <laughs> how is it going on these days so I I have to say that uh, like with the gift boxes this has also slowed down because it's not an essential item but having said that uh, sales uh, from Pendi and Hovia are still the way they always were I suppose because people can buy it from abroad and it gets shipped over um, so yeah I mean at any given time I do have a stock of books also uh, but mostly I prefer to print and hand it over to Pendi or who we are because it's easier for even people who are coming for something else might see it and think ah you know I'll, I'll get this um, I'll try it out and see but it's very uh, it's not often that people will come to me and say I want a gift box but I might also take this kind <laughs> yeah. of thing the purchases of that kind have reduced with the current situation yeah yeah and also like um, uh, yeah so what I was going to ask was um, how do you how would you um, want to develop it if you if you have some kind of plan any kind um, of thing well I do I do have quite a few um, books that I want to put out over the next couple of months uh, which that idea has sort of taken a back seat because it's quite difficult at the moment um, but I have a, a, a book of animals that I'm uh, hoping to put out by the end of the year and at, I also want to make it as educational for the children as possible because I know that you you do your Parisaria and your uh, history and geography and whatever social studies uh, but you know I want to make learning fun because I remember in school I used to fall asleep during <laughs> you know certain subjects uh, my teachers will attest to it um, so I want to make it fun I want to uh, I want to have kids read the text color it in and then I want them to send me they can post it on Instagram or Facebook or just tell someone ah, you know I have this coloring book it's quite fun I learned something from it. you know like my older son he's five he's constantly talking he watches something on a TV program and then he talk about it for days so instead of watching it on a TV program, um, I want them to read it and then color it on their own for it to come into their heads that yeah. everything doesn't have to be black and white. Like even though, uh, even though in this book the peacock is uh, dark blue and light blue, it could be green and yellow. Yeah. It's a choice that a child and that would I feel um, uh, engage the child creatively and help them to think outside the box instead of you go sit for any you study sit for an exam if you pass or you fail that's all that matters uh, because I'm not a good student so I, I prefer to have children thinking outside the box and exactly. coming up with different things yeah yeah so to think outside of the box and also to be connected with the Sri Lankan culture at the same time learn about all the things that that uh, make us feel that we belong here are actually what we can learn from uh, the book that we just talked about. So thank you so much Ms. Dinushka for joining with thank us. Thank you for having and, me. Yeah, so that's all for today. See you again with Real Achievers.
ஆழிமூவி தேட்ட